welcome back. Now we have seen how to derive sizing for new cloud migration. It is equally important to validate the cloud migration and we should be performing unit testing as well as load testing of the database. The tool we are going to discuss is real application testing that provides SQL performance analyzer as well as database replay. The SQL performance analyzer helps with unit testing of SQLs and database replay helps with load testing of SQLs. So in addition, real application testing also provides database consolidation workbench, which is an ideal tool for getting advice on cloud migration. The real application testing provides four different tools, which helps with testing all changes during a cloud migration. So starting with consolidation workbench, it helps move workload to Oracle Cloud safely as well as quickly. It also estimates the required cloud compute size and saves for any cloud migration. User can use OCI database systems to migrate and test the workload before they can finalize on moving to Oracle Cloud infrastructure. So Spark Quick Check is more of a tool within Enterprise Manager Cloud Control interface. And it started uh, providing a Spark Quick Check uh, starting with version 12.1.0.3. And it helps quickly validate system changes on production systems such as impact of a SQL profile or uh, if you want to create an index and want to validate it in a private session or gathering optimizer stats as well as testing on production system within a controlled environment. So that's the use case for uh, SQL Performance Analyzer Quick Check. So the third tool, uh, Database Replay, that is uh, uh, a feature which was evolved as a solution for the need to be able to do a kind of realistic application testing. So before Database Replay, if you wanted to test any kind of changes against performance or workload, you had to buy a third party tool and also a lot of manual work uh, to simulate the actual workload. So in most cases, neither method was truly representative of, of your uh, real workload. Also, making changes to a production environment without testing them could be a risky thing. So in essence, database replay allow you to record your Oracle workload in real time, and then you can play it back on the new system. So you can play the workload against another database, a different version of Oracle uh, database, a different operating system. So that's the goal for uh, database replay. And SQL Performance Analyzer is uh, something like it uh, uh, helps you predict the impact of system change on SQL workload. And uh, it's very low overhead, overhead capture of SQL workload to SQL. So you basically create a SQL tuning set on production system and test it out in the uh, new environment. So coming to database consolidation workbench, uh, that provides an end-to-end uh, -end consolidation solution and uh, it helps with three phases basically. So plan, migrate as well as validate and uh, that helps uh, any user to understand what should be their database consolidation strategy, whether the workload coexists together for any uh, selected strategy or what kind of conflict might exist like if you are planning for a consolidation. Uh, it help you answer can the system handle the peak workload while maintaining the performance which is required by a database system and uh, also about how to perform the migration with uh, reduced downtime and uh, how to test the chosen uh, consolidation strategy to minimize the risk. So overall it provides a, a solution for managing database consolidation. It's a risk free and accurate approach to consolidation by eliminating any kind of guesswork or human errors. So analysis uh, is based on historical workloads, means database related uh, stats as well as host related matrices. Uh, it provides you automation in all phases of consolidation from planning to deployment. And uh, it, it provides a flexible approach for various customer scenarios. So any database version 10 to database version or any higher versions. So they are supported by consolidation workbench. So one of the use cases is definitely to provide consolidation to Oracle private public cloud or moving to Exadata kind of systems. And uh, it also supports HA options to minimize any downtime depending on source or destination database platform versions. So we look at uh, SQL Performance Analyzer and uh, as I said in the beginning, it is used mostly for the unit testing of the SQLs. 
and it is widely used for unit testing and you can start with uh, basically capturing the sequels in a SQL tuning set uh, and the criteria could be different so it could be based on elapsed time or buffer gets uh, depending on workload behavior and once the SQL tuning set is created you can export the SQL tuning set to a new environment for carrying out the testing. So when you capture STS or SQL tuning set, it gets all the performance data about each individual SQL IDs. And then in the new environment, you can assess the impact of any new changes such as optimizer change or version upgrade or any new feature you want to test with like multi-tenant or in-memory. Uh, there are uh, certain steps. So in step one, you are going to capture the workload into SQL tuning set on production side or on your on-prem system. And uh, you would be able to clone the database to cloud using Oracle supported methods. And uh, for PDB, you can use one click migration that is also supported from Enterprise Manager Cloud Control. And for non PDB, you can use uh, transportable table space or data pump features. And in step three, basically, you do the SPA validation in cloud. So you can either use Cloud Control or uh, Enterprise Manager Express as well as APIs are uh, supported. Trial 1 is building from STS means convert from the SQL tuning set and in trial 2 you will be doing uh, running it against the cloud PDB. So test, execute or explain plan so there are different modes um, which you perform for your testing. Uh, once you are done it would be able to generate a report to validate any plan changes as well as any uh, performance differences. So you can use various metrics such as buffer gates or CPU time and elapsed time to assess performance and fix uh, if any issues are found in the new environment. So use this tool for uh, uh, performing your unit testing for the new migration. Now coming to uh, database uh, replay or concurrent replay. So database replay uh, helps with load as well as performance testing with uh, real kind of production workload. So production workload characteristics such as timing or transaction dependency, think time, so they are all maintained. What is done is as part of the process, uh, you capture, start the capturing the workload uh, at any specific uh, time frame and they are stored in a binary file. So you transfer these captured files to a test environment, you run the workload, analyze problem, fix the problem, you can test it again. You can use a flashback kind of technology so that any changes which will be done with the replay can be flashed back and uh, database will be in a, a state where you can uh, redo the testing. So you can also test the configuration changes or upgrades, downgrade, application change, uh, storage, network and interconnect kind of uh, uh, scenarios. So Oracle Real Application Testing uh, use case for Oracle Cloud means uh, moving uh, database workload to OCI or any Exadata Cloud service or any cloud environment quickly and safely. Consolidation Workbench is providing uh, basically estimating cloud compute size and shapes. As far DB replay can be used to ensure the workload is uh, performing better or as expected on the cloud. SPA quick check for ongoing performance tuning and uh, you can use Oracle Cloud as your test system for on-prem databases and once you are done with the testing, you can uh, go ahead with uh, migrating the uh, database or you can decide on your uh, go live date. The basic uh, advantage of using uh, real application testing is it maintains the concurrency and uh, uh, performance testing is good because it's a real workload uh, using the database replay you'd be able to scale up and do a stress testing or capacity planning. Uh, it provides validation for any OCI environment before going live and uh, uh, work with uh, any database as a service or uh, schema as a service or um, DevOps VMs or bare metal XRCS. Uh, any database version support uh, starting with 11G or 12C, CDB or non-CDB, rack, Exadata, in-memory. So all of these uh, cases can be uh, tested. So it works across different platforms. So workload can come from uh, maybe uh, big Indian platforms like HPVX or AIX or Solaris. And you'll be able to do those testing in OCI provided database offerings. Uh, and it is definitely recommended for critical applications. And uh, one of the things you have to keep in mind, like you should always perform a SQL performance analyzer testing before doing the database replay. So that way it helps uh, adapt any new technologies faster. So this is one of the example uh, just uh, 
to give you a view of like how a capture and replay reports uh, looks like so capture provides you all the uh, information about uh, how long you have captured uh, as well as how many replay clients you have used to replay the workload how many user calls are captured and database replay will be able to tell you like if all the captured sessions were replayed or uh, what was the divergence means uh, uh, any sql which was not uh, played uh, on the uh, production or uh, basically on the test environment and uh, this is done after doing the sql performance analyzer so we discussed about the steps creating sql tuning set cloning the database to cloud and conducting the spa trials so spa provides some report like which would be able to show you that how much db time reduction has happened if a queries performance have improved or uh, they have regressed and that gives you an opportunity to create another sql tuning set for regress sequels and then run certain advisors such as uh, sql tuning advisor or sql access advisor and uh, fix the regression this is another report from uh, SQL Performance Analyzer. So it shows here that improvement impact is 98% and uh, queries have improved. And you'd be able to see uh, the criteria like buffer gets showing across two different trials. And we definitely see significant uh, gain in terms of uh, performance here. And they all have got a new plan in place. So new SQL plan has values. Uh, this is another example. I have compared the elapsed time as well as uh, CPU time comparison for certain SQLs across two different environments. You would be able to uh, do a, a SPA, uh, top uh, SQL comparison. So in this example, I have taken 50 top SQLs uh, from the production environment and I'm testing it against the uh, another environment on Exadata. And uh, the chart is uh, plotted based on the performance results here. So we see that pro production elapsed time versus Exadata elapsed time. And this criteria could be anything it could be buffer gates or cpu time depending on the requirement this is again the awr comparison where uh, our production hardware is like ivm p770 systems running on 64 cores and i performed uh, the same testing against the 24 core of exadata system x2 and uh, uh, i have got the awr report comparison what kind of top time events or uh, across two infrastructure uh, db cpu versus db time comparison so in summary uh, database performance characteristic and tool for sizing we discussed uh, uh, earlier and then we looked at database sizing or capacity planning on oci uh, we also discussed about how to validate the cloud migration using spa as well as database replay and uh, we learned how to interpret the performance characteristic using AWR and uh, SQL performance analyzer. So uh, that's the summary and I hope uh, you uh, find this video useful and uh, for more information you can always look at our oracle.com slash cloud uh, and there you can get it started with free tier as well as any training as well as certification information are listed on our cloud portal. For hands-on lab, you can refer the Cloudable platform and uh, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel where uh, we post all the training videos. So thanks for watching.